Hi again, everybody. Welcome to another episode of RV Business Capital Talk, sponsored by the DICOR Corporation. With me, as always, is Sherman Goldenberg. I'm Rick Kessler. We're with RV Business, and joining us for this show is Dave Kelly, Florida RV Trade Association President. Dave, thank you so much, and please don't rub it in on the nice warm weather that you have down there right now. Yeah, I'm not even going to bring up the fact that I'm in short sleeves and shorts, so uh, I'll leave that out. Nor are we going to bring up the fact that it's 22 degrees here in northern <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> well, Dave, you, you, you keep it up there. Dave, we're talking to you about a, a couple of weeks out, maybe three weeks out before the Florida RV Super Show at the state fairgrounds there in Tampa. Um, Got to ask you, how are things shaping up? Really, really great this year. Um, it just seems like people are, are dying to get back out and, and do the shows. Um, as far as exhibitor space, everything sold out. Uh, manufacturers um, stepped up, uh, bought up all the show space. Uh, booth space has been sold out for months. Um, yeah, we're really only uh, we're two weeks from um, uh, Industry Day, which will be the 18th, Tuesday, the 18th. And of course, we invite everyone in the industry to come down and join us. But uh, things are shaping up really nicely. Um, social media, the um, response we're getting from social media has been tremendous. Um, Rally is doing great. Um, so it just seems like people are ready to, to get back out there. I know uh, um, one of the Tampa show obviously always serves as, as a barometer for the, uh, for the rest of the show season, the consumer show season. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys get a good, maybe 75,000 or so for a gate usually. Yeah, uh, in 2020 was our, our biggest show was over 70,000. And, you know, looking at, at what Hershey, we always kind of keep an eye on what Hershey does. And Lisa and, and Patty both went up to the show um, this year to just to see kind of how things were going. And, um, you know, they had they had record crowds and we're really anticipating um, uh, blowing the door off that old record. Nice. And then we're talking about not to belabor it, uh, some headwinds. Uh, uh, in, in the uh, U.S. environment uh, right now. Um, do you anticipate uh, any special things that you need to do procedurally uh, to deal with, uh, with COVID or any of that? Well, we went through it uh, last uh, January. We did temperature tests and things at the gate. We, we won't be doing that this year, but we will we'll be following whatever the, the guidelines are. Of course, at the time of the show, every day it kind of changes. But, um, you know, mask recommendations, you know, indoors and, and when they're in the RVs. Of course, we like to see one family or one couple at a time inside the RVs. And they, they did a really great job of policing themselves last year. So I'm not really anticipating um, too much trouble with that. But, you know, encouraging the social distancing and, the, and the, of course, the sanitizer. And we will be sanitizing the um, booth buildings in, in the evening. So um, we're not anticipating too much uh, problem with that. Yeah, uh, the, the general format uh, of, the, of the show, the, let me rephrase that, the general backdrop of the show among the OEMs, among the manufacturers, um, inventories don't appear to be a problem in getting stuff to the show like they have been at some shows in recent times? No, actually, we were, we were kind of anticipating at the drawing that uh, manufacturers would, would take less space based on uh, availability of product. But, uh, you know, they did just the opposite, uh, wanting even more space and um, are, are promising to have uh, the product here um, to display. So that's, I think that's a great thing. And I know the, the public has been dying to see, you know, all of the different products. Yeah. Uh, I know it's been tough for them to, to see everything on, on the dealers a lot. So um, they're, they're excited too, to, to be able to see everything. Back to Rick's comment about the significance of the Tampa show. It's a big deal to the industry at large. And what you're saying is it looks like it's going to be on its game. 
Well, you know, and it's, it's funny because, um, you know, you guys know, having been down here, is that it's not just a, a photograph of Florida. It's, it's really a picture of the south of the, of the kind of the eastern United States in that I would guess probably close to 50 percent of the people that come to the show don't live here in Florida. They're from the northeast or the Midwest and are down here vacationing. So it does give you a, a real good sense of um, not just the Florida market, but how things are going to uh, progress uh, along the southeastern United States, really. Dave, uh, um, if you could, to put on a show of this size, of this scope, of this magnitude, uh, an army of volunteers, and, and we hear through, uh, through the grapevine, one of those volunteers could be somebody we all know. I, I don't know if you've got him following the little donkey with a, a barrel and a shovel, but what's, what's Lance Wilson up to? <laughs> yeah, we were lucky enough to be able to twist his arm to, to have him come back out and help us out. Um, you know, between he and Lisa and I, there's, you know, uh, almost a hundred years of experience putting the show together. And, um, you know, when he retired a couple of years ago, uh, we really wanted to make sure we didn't lose his, his knowledge. Um, his expertise in running the show. So um, as a matter of fact, I will be out there tomorrow with him uh, doing the layout and he's going to help us with move in and uh, help us as a floor manager. So awesome. everyone in the industry that remembers Lance, he'll, he'll be at the show. How about uh, crazy entertainment that you yeah. guys are known for, kind of your trademark? Are you going to do that this year? Yeah, they're they're coming back this year. We we lost some last year to uh, to COVID. They weren't comfortable coming back, but we'll have the magicians and the um, uh, the, the the living mime statues and the bands. The the bagpipe band is going to be back again this year, and uh, the stilt walkers and and you know the crazy things that that you know people have come to know and love at the Super Show. You know, the more outrageous the entertainment, the more I, uh, I, I feel like the P.T. Barnum of the RV show industry. I love these uh, crazy and wild acts that, you know, you come around a corner and, um, you know, someone's coming at you with a, a stilt, a stilt walking or, or, you know, balloon animals or magic or whatever it is. We, we try to, we try to keep people entertained the whole day. Back to your comment about uh, being sold out. You are virtually exhibitor wise sold out. I mean, Sherman, we have used every bit of the fairgrounds this year. We even, they even had a building they condemned and they tore down. We're using the slab that the building was sitting on to, to exhibit uh, product. It's, it's, it's unlike, I think, any other year that we've, that we've seen that um, there's so much demand um, from the exhibitors, the manufacturers, and the, uh, uh, the supplier exhibitors. It's, it's just incredible. It is incredible that we're having this conversation, right, Rick? I mean, uh, you know, and Dave, I mean, you know, things have been unpredictable to be fair about it. It's just amazing how good this thing sounds. You know, Sherman, I, and I think the, the people are ready. Our, our theme this year, our, our logo is get out there. And it's it's funny because it's it's being lived. People are getting out there. I mean, I've just did a little scrolling the other day trying to find a campsite, you know, for some time in March. And it, they're tough to come by. I mean, uh, you know, we love having all of our, our northern visitors down here in the wintertime, but it, it makes it tough for some of us that live here to, to try to find a camping site or a, a campsite uh, in the wintertime. So I, I think it's just a, a thing, uh, Sherman and, and Rick, that just people are the, the pent up uh, demand to get back outside. And, and you know, the, our show is about 90 percent outdoors. So I, I think people feel comfortable coming to the show and, and walking around and um and feel safe and comfortable being out there. And, and Dave, um, right on the right on the tail end of the Tampa show, you've got a whole bunch of consumer shows coming back, right? Yeah, we do. We do our smaller uh, regional shows, which is it's nice to have those back online again this year. As a matter of fact, we'll go right from Super Show uh, the next weekend is a show in Fort Myers, which has been drawing anywhere from twelve to fifteen thousand people over the years. And um, so we'll be doing Fort Myers, uh, West Palm Beach, Ocala and Jacksonville, uh, all in the few weeks following the Super Show. But uh, it, it's great to be able to have these these uh, even these smaller shows back up and running. All right. Rick, uh, what do you what else you got? 
Oh, we could go into a whole bunch of different topics with, with Dave, but uh, I think he might be a little bit busy at the moment. <laughs> I always have time for you guys. Dave, thanks so much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the, the uh, promotion. It helps out a lot. Thank you, man.